Hey guys, I'm back. <laughs> now I know I just uh, did a video a few minutes ago, but I just thought I'd come back with another one. And now I know when I first started doing videos, I was doing like uh, reviews and such, and I started like branching out to other things too. But I thought I'd maybe do a little bit of a review of sorts. <laughs> and I guess what uh, review what I'm thinking about doing. Uh, these. Or well, maybe I'll do them individually at the time. At one time. No. I guess just, I mean, one movie for, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, just review one uh, movie on one video and review the other movie on another video. And we've got MMPR, the movie. Uh, now this is the most recent cover that they've released. I don't know, Turbo did the same thing, but I don't have the uh, cover that you know, looks like the turbo cover, you know, it'd be cool to have. I guess it looks pretty cool, but seeing as how you just we well, just saw, I already have the turbo movie, but and I guess I'll just see what happens. I guess, but anyway, MMPR the movie, you see. Now, back in the nineties, if you remember when Power Rangers came out, it was uh, successful enough that they uh, spawned a movie. Um, uh, they were actually down in Australia, I think, when they did this. Uh, because I think they were filming a, a, a few episodes, I think, and um, and while they were down there, they decided to uh, do the movie, too. And coincidentally, some of our uh, Disney actors are actually uh, Australian, uh, either that or New Zealander, you know, but anyway, I digress. Um... Yeah, now if you wonder what this movie is about, if for those of you who haven't seen it, I guess it's, uh, basically, uh, uh, um, maybe I'll just read the back, kind of, just to give you an accurate description, I guess, uh, there we go, uh, power up with six incredible teams who outmaneuver and defeat evil everywhere as the money morphing Power Rangers, but this time, uh, the Power Rangers may have met their match, match uh, when they face off with the most sinister villain in the, the galaxy has ever seen, Ivan Ooze. Unleashed upon the good citizens of Angel Grove after uh, 6k years, 6k meaning 6,000. I'm just saying 6k out of my own dialogue. But anyway. Uh, uh, unleashed upon the ci good citizens of Angel Grove after 6k years of uh, imprisonment, uh, Ivan Ooze strips the Power Rangers and their leader Zoran over their powers. Now the Power Rangers must uh, turn into a distant planet to learn the secrets of the ancient Jedi. Only uh, then will they uh, become empowered with a force strong enough to uh, restore their morphin ability and defeat the evil Ivan Ooze. Join the mighty morphin Power Rangers and their new, new Ninja Megazord as they fight to save Angel Grove and the, and the world from the forces of evil. Pretty much, yeah. So what's interesting about this movie is actually it's out of uh, continuity with the, the show. Now, for those who may have seen all of My Warp, and you'll know what happens. And if you've seen the movie, you'll know what happens in this movie too. So, which is in interesting because unlike this movie, uh, the Turbo movie is actually within uh, continuity of the television show because the Turbo season actually started after that. Now, I think in the box office it did uh, fairly well, I think, but uh, critically, I uh, can't remember right off the top of my head, I think it didn't do so well, but I don't know, I'm just going by memory here, uh, but it was, I would say it's an enjoyable uh, flick, I guess, like, if you're not one to uh, like nitpick everything right or wrong with movies, it, that's this movie can be fairly, fairly enjoyable, you know. Um, well, I know the nostalgia critic uh, did a review on it, but I guess I, don't, uh, I guess I have to watch it again and uh, uh, refresh my memory on what some of the things he said. But I don't think he really liked it, though, especially since he says he's not a fan of the show. Uh, but yeah, 
Now, which is interesting uh, uh, about this movie is unlike the show where they actually wear spandex, uh, they're more like heavily armored and mm, they're just the suits are more uh, closer to uh, armor and appearance as opposed to the TV show. And if you've seen the movie, you'll nah, know what it looks like. You'll know what I'm talking about. Now, I guess like the uh, TV show did uh, Bond's merchandise. I know it did have the uh, automorphin flip heads too, like. Unlike the solid colors that the regular TV show figurines have, um, I guess the same function uh, they uh, flip heads and all was more more like, uh, shiny and metallic than the regular TV show is. And yes, I do own three of them. I have three of those the movie figurines, so to speak: uh, uh, red, black, and blue. I'd like to have the other three, which would be, you know, white, pink, and yellow, of course. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but, yeah. And I think I'll also release some figurines uh, running to the movies. Uh, same appearance as, as I'm talking about. Only thing is, they're not like flip heads. If you know what figurines I'm referring to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess... It's an enjoyable film, I guess. I mean, I guess, think what you uh, will about it, I guess, just the opinions are subjective, I guess, you know. But, I guess, it can be enjoyable for if you're like a diehard fan, and, and even if you're just a casual fan, I guess, or just, whatever. Or even if you just want what, why, uh, want something to watch, I guess I would say, watch it if you feel like it. Uh, but, I guess, Overall, not to sound redundant, but it's enjoyable, especially if you're not one like I am. To, especially, ah, fuck, I hate getting tongue-tied here. It's enjoyable to watch, especially if you're not uh, a nitpicky person. Which I, of course, am not, but, you know. So, yeah, there you have it. MMPR the movie, I guess. Uh, hope I hope this was descriptive enough. And... Um, Maybe uh, next time, hopefully, I get to review this movie, too. Yeah. And, and I know the, the Nostalgia Critic uh, did this movie back in... Uh, reviewed this movie back in May, and I got some things to say about it, but... Regarding his review, but... Uh, Alright, so... Alright, GoMoD21, setting out. Hope you enjoy. Oh, and by the way, rate, comment, subscribe. By the way. Bye.